This Cash Manager Rural Tutorial will show you how to enter three types of transactions. They are simple transactions, split or multi-lined transactions and mixed transactions. Transaction information can be manually entered into the transaction screen as bills and receipts arrive in the mail or from your bank statement. Alternatively, you can download transactions from your bank website directly into this screen. This video will show you how to manually enter transactions. A simple transaction is a single lined transaction that requires only one category code and the amount of the transaction matches the amount allocated to this code. To create a simple transaction, click on either the Income or Expense button at the top of the screen. The transaction date should be the date the payment will be made from your bank account and the amount entered should be the amount that will appear on the bank statement. If you pay your bills by cheque, you can enter the cheque number into the reference field. Under Other Party, we can either select the Other Party code from the drop-down box or manually type the name in. Now that the financial information has been entered, the transaction needs to be given a category code and extended code. The codes in Cash Manager have been set to automatically default to the correct GST type of either business, exempt or personal. However, you can change the GST type if you need to while entering the transaction. The note can also be retyped to suit the transaction. Once you are happy with the transaction, click OK and it will now appear in the list above. A split transaction contains more than one line, each with its own category code and extended code. Each line may contain a different GST content and the code amount applies to the transaction line only. To create a split transaction, click on either the Income or Expense button at the top of the screen. So that you can split the transaction correctly, you will need the supplier invoice to refer to. First, enter the financial information as it appears on the bank statement or invoice. Now you can focus on giving category codes and extended codes to the item on the invoice and entering them into the transaction. As you split and code the transaction, you can see the amount remaining at the bottom of the screen. We need to keep coding the items until it shows a zero amount. To create a new line in the transaction, you can either click the OK button or press the tab key on your keyboard until a new line is created. Once you have coded the transaction, click OK. The transaction now appears as a multi-line transaction in the list above and the line amounts equal the total amount of the transaction. A mixed transaction contains more than one line and may be made up of both income and expense items. Each line is given its own category code, extended code and amount. To create a mixed transaction, click on either the Income or Expense button at the top of the screen. So that you can split the transaction correctly, you will need the supplier invoice to refer to. First, enter the financial information as it appears in the bank statement or supplier invoice. The first line in this transaction will show the gross amount of milk income before deductions. The remaining amount needs to equal zero, so we will continue to create transaction lines and allocate codes until it does, and the items in the transaction match the items on the supplier invoice. Once the transaction balances, click OK and it will appear in the list above. This is the end of our tutorial. For more information on this facility, visit our website www.crssoftware.co.nz, contact our support help desk on the number provided, or email our team on the email provided.